the fighting force that is AI native is the one that wins. You Correct. have to be AI native to win. Everyone, to, everyone you talk to in the Defense Department believes that. Not, I've never, not five I've never, years ago. Five years well, ago. To, that, to, today, to, I would say one hundred percent of people that I have ever talked to believe that. So they just and they all want it to us, happen. They just they just they, they just all think it won't happen right. because of the bureaucracy. People who never thought like people. The Air Force adamantly used to refuse the idea that there could be autonomous drones in use. Like right. you know, that was a, that was an yeah. active stance. The Navy was there, so I would I, just, I use that as an intentional example that we can create a thinking mind shift. So we've created the thinking mind shift. Now, how do we get the actual work to take place? And that's the other thing. So for example, one of the programs that we had to run right over, thanks to Ash Carter, was the Hack the Pentagon program, which is allowing the Pentagon to use bug bounty programs. And everyone said, you're gonna like tell China and all these other countries exactly where the bugs are and where the holes in the security. And you're just like, well, there, that means they already know where the holes are. Right, right, <laughs> Only totally. we're finding out about it. Right, right. And so once we got that in, that everyone sort of, that became the de facto way of doing things. So you have to show people the way to do it. So what we do need is, is um, leadership right from Secretary of Defense all the way through to say, this is the way we have to really shift this. Same thing happened when the Navy decided to move to nuclear uh, uh, vehicles, like basically nuclear ships. The other aspect that's not talked about and usually attributed to bureaucracy is Congress has to get on board. Yeah. Every oh time gosh, Congress yeah. says, you know, DOD says, we don't need a new aircraft carrier. We need AI. And yeah. Congress says, well, my district produces this part. You get exactly. an aircraft carrier. Yeah. And Rumsfeld, I remember working under President Bush on these problems after 9-11. Rumsfeld was back then saying, we, like, we got to transform this stuff to not to not to, to be more agile, to, to, to figure these things out. And yet we're still stuck and mired in this. So the, the part. So that, what I do think, we do? About, I mean, everyone knows, like, yeah, you're right, so like Congress we problem. We're spending all this money on aircraft carriers and on tanks that are just going to get easily defeated in the next war. Like. We all know all these problems. We've got like these fighter right. jets that cost a billion dollars each that are just not going to be yeah. effective. Uh, like, what what do we do about it? Like, Congress is in the way, the bureaucracy is in the way. Like, is there anything we can do, or do we yeah. just have to accept so, defeat? No, no. We the, there's zero chance we can accept defeat. So, so, so we should just be first off. I think what I would tell everyone is it's very easy to be cynical about the DoD. It's very easy to be cynical about the government. Our job is to fight cynicism. Like we have to fight the cynicism because too much is at stake. There's too much at stake. The world is not a safe place. Like when we look around, the tax, the way people want to, uh, to approach things, that's happening. Other countries want not only our technology, but they want to hit us with the technology so that we're, we're hurt by it. Um, so what are concrete things we can do? So the first is, the, and I think this is the first tiniest of a step, is the Biden uh, National Security Council issued an executive order just a couple of days ago that says, go faster with AI. National security teams, everyone else, you need to go faster. Two is you need programs like the Defense Innovation Unit, things like that Doug Beck is leading yeah. to go even to, to be able to get funded. And so constituents need to support that. The executive office has to support that to say we have to have DIU, Defense Innovation Unit, to scale at literally 10x. We need that much more to happen because you need new ideas to come in because a lot of the traditional Beltway bandits, they're doing what they're supposed to do, which is not yeah. helpful. And then the third thing that is there that we often forget about is we need the right kind of talent to show up. The talent has to show up. And that 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 is, you know, those of us that, that have the skills have to go in and take the roles. And not just the roles at the, at the coding layer. We need people who are running major components, who are the AI officers, like the Craig Martells, who used to be at you know, Lyft and at, at uh, was he at Lyft Group? One of the ride sharing companies, he was also at LinkedIn, yeah. and then went in to be the chief AI officer for the DoD and got a bunch of stuff off the ground. You need a deputy secretary who understands this, and you need secretaries of defenses who think about this the right way and are going to drive it down from the top. And you need that bottoms up. 
is like it's it's there's no easy solution when this is 20 percent of GDP. it's kind of like the same thing where people are like why can't we just fix healthcare? you're like right it's so big you gotta you gotta attack from all the sides i i'm still i think even if we do all those things i feel like they all kind of like help on the margins and stuff. Like I'm glad we did DIUX and stuff. Like I feel like it's helped on the margins and it's good. Um, but like the the primes don't care. They're still like they're still as fat as ever. Um, the all the services companies, Booz Allen, Khaki, like all those guys that are out there, like they don't care. Like they're still as fat as ever. like yeah. They're they're all, all they're all just like. And, and and then the DOD itself, it's just like they just have this like a massive bureaucracy. It's like six layers of paperwork to go do anything. Um, it's it's a it, it it it's so hard to like actually do anything. And I feel like the, none of those things will. They're all like good ideas. They're all like things we should do for it sure. Starts. But it doesn't. Yeah. But it, so, I feel like it doesn't attack like the main problem. And I, I don't see like right. the main problem getting any better. Like I feel like the main problem still gets worse. All those things help in the margin. But if the main problem gets worse, like it doesn't help. I, I, I don't know if you disagree. But, so with me. Warren, part of this is like you're one of the be- you're the one of the best conveners on this of people <laughs> bringing people together it's people like you and others that have to convene people well, honestly i convene trust. i'll convene like top generals in dod and all they do is they all know the problem they all but they're yeah. like i have my hands are tied congress is tied it or i can't do right. anything or we it's like those- and these are literally like three and four star people I, you I think know. people have power but they're like i have no power i can't yeah. do anything i'm a three star i'm a four star but i literally have no power to go change really anything beyond this like little thing that I'm working on. And then there I can try to do it and I can try to grow people and mentor right. people and all the other things. So I think there's like there's early indications of positivity, like what we're seeing out of the war colleges with the with with people who are just coming out and they get this. Right. So we get that we see that new leadership there. You're absolutely right that there's this paralysis kind of feeling across a lot of, of um, people. I look at what CQ Brown is doing, what General Smith is doing, uh, um, Commandant of the, the Marines, who worked with us a ton on a bunch of these things with Ash Carter, and, and they, they get it. They, and, and the question that is at hand is, how do we create a collective movement for what that is? And that really has to be thought of as major work by Congress. Like There, there just needs to be a, 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 a new study of like, what do we want the Pentagon to be? And, and that the problem there is, is that everyone is going to lobby the heck out of it. Yeah. <laughs> and we have to just hold true to that because, and, and part of this, what I hate to see happen is the way it was said to me, which I think is the worst example of this during, during um, the Gulf Wars was the country's at war, but the Pentagon isn't. Yeah. And I think that is a version that we still see today. And the version that I hate to see happen, which is kind of said, is like we have to see an existential crisis moment for us to get our 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 act yeah, for together. Sure. If we have an existential crisis, I, I believe we'll figure it out. But ideally, we should be able we to figure wait. out without we that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. And and then those we have multiple existential crises already. Correct. I mean, yeah, I'll they're be just slow like, moving crises. 